Today we're going to be doing a print on the Zortrax Inventure and we're going to be printing a gun and I'll show you exactly how to set up the file and how we're going to print it with dissolvable support and dissolve them away in the DSS station. So um, to start with I'll just show you how to set up the file. Starting off in Z-Suite, you just want to drag in your desired file. So for us it's this gun and we're just going to scale it so that it fits and it's a nice size for us to be able to print and you can do that just by using the scale tools and then drag it around to check you positioned it correctly once we're happy click print and then we get our print settings so this model we're going to do in zpla so we'll select that and with a layer thickness of 0.14 mil we'll do it at a high quality and we're the medium infill. The support angle will leave at 40 degrees. And if you go on advanced, you can see there are a few other settings there um, that aren't necessarily applicable to this print. Once you're happy, just click print and it will render out. And then you'll see all the support that's been generated. Now it's worth just checking this by having a look around to see that all, everything is supported nicely. Um, with this print, we're going to need a fair bit of support. There's a lot of detail on both sides of the print. It wouldn't be printable uh, without this support in place. Um, you can check through the layers by going into pores and dragging, dragging down through and just to see that there's no problems in the file either. And this looks fine. You can see the infill structure there as well. So once we're happy, um, we'll just save to print and save the file to our SD card and that's ready to put into the printer and set to go. Right so that's our print finished um, so we're just going to remove it from the printer and you do that just by removing the plate like so and we're going to remove this print from the plate and put it into our DSS station which we've already filled with water so to remove the print you just grab your scraper that comes in with the, the adventure and just start working your way around the raft and it should just peel off. Once you've got one good edge underneath, the whole thing will come away. And then you can see we've got the little prime tower here. If you want to, you can, you can remove that. And that is basically just to ensure that the nozzles remain clean when it's printing. It just moves over and does a little square in each material as it switches between the two. And that's just waste. So now we can put our our print, which has the support material on, into the DSS station. Okay, so then we just bring our print over and you can see we've already got some water in here. Uh, there's plenty in there for our print. Um, if you like, you can bring the, this uh, cage up, place your print in, and then just lower it down. You might need to push the print in um, there'll be some air within the model, so it might take a little while to sink. We can just push that down um, and that should be all right. It's worth noting at this point you want the, the uh, DSS station to be unplugged just to avoid any um, problems with electricity and water, which you never want. So once we've dried our hands, we just bring over the uh, power cable and plug it in. Just like so and then turn it on. You'll see that it lights up like this. Um, it gives us a reading of the, the actual temperature and then the temperature that we'd want to set the, uh, the station to. Um, so 45 degrees, we'll leave it at that. And currently it's set to eight hours. Uh, I'm just gonna bring this down. This is our first time using this, so we'll experiment and just stick it on for about 40 minutes to start with. 
And once you're ready and you've got all your settings set, um, you just press on and it'll begin to work. So you can see here inside the prints rotating around. Um, there's a little rotor at the bottom that keeps the water moving and then you've got a heating element there uh, that obviously heats the water up um, to temperature. So once you're happy that uh, everything's working as it should, you can put the lid on just to keep that heat in and then leave it to do its thing. Okay, so um, now we just need to remove the print from the DSS station. So you can see we've turned it off completely and unplugged it, just to avoid any water getting in contact with the cable. And put the lid over. And we actually ended up leaving, in, leaving this in for about three hours to fully dissolve all of the uh, support material. Um, and you can just pull out the print like that. Alternatively, if you don't want to put your hands in, and if the water is still quite warm, um, you can just use the cage and lift it out. So we just dry it off. And if I show you a close up of the print itself, um, you can see the top surface that hasn't had support on looks like this. And then going over to the other side with the, um, with the support material, you can see that the, uh, the finish is like this. Um, and it's come out pretty well. There's two little areas where there have been a problem, just here and here. Um, but looking into the file after noticing this, um, we realised that there was, a, there was a little bit of an error. And if you look in the, um, the sliced view here from um, Z Suite, you can, see, you can see exactly what's happened. So there's a little bit of missing um, geometry there, which has just caused that to happen. But the... Um, the overall finish, where the supports have been, um, is really good. So this is something that you wouldn't necessarily be able to print with uh, standard supports, or you definitely wouldn't get this kind of definition. Um, and the ease of use of the Zortrax and DSS station um, has been really good. So um, if, you, if you'd like any more information about this process, um, just leave a comment below. Um, make sure to subscribe to our channel for any more videos that we can do on the adventure. And um, yeah, give us a thumbs up as well.